all right what's good y'all i'm about to make a no i'm about to break down a sample let's get straight to it bro all right so uh the preset that i used for the first melody is the celesta in the new contact factory library and it's the acoustic version they have one celesta in the orchestra and one in the acoustic uh folder both are pretty fire i've been using both of my loops but in this one i'm using the acoustic and i made this pattern with it right here i'm gonna play it first and then kind of break it down for y'all So I start off with this chord right here and this uh, melody, these two notes going up like this. Yeah, just like that. I liked how it sounded, so I just kept that on repeat, just like this. I just wanted to make something super simple, but that still catches my like attention and something that I like. I just made this and then to add some bounce, I added this note right here. And first I put it like this. But I moved it to the side to give it like kind of an offbeat uh, rhythm. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the bottom melody. I kept, I had that repeating uh, three times right here. And then the last one, I just pitched up five semitones. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it's the same as the others. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so after I had the chords down here, I just made this uh, melody on here on top of it. Uh, I cannot explain how I did it. I was just following my ears. But here's what it sounds like with the, the rest of the melody. Yeah, that's that's the whole melody start off with this chord right here made this and this uh, little melody added this for more bounce and then finished it off with the little counter melody up here and uh, next thing that i did to this melody i went into the mixer right here then i routed it to mixer channel one i added a wave shell pitch it down three semitones and then i added a sooth got some frequencies here cleaned up the sound a little bit uh, after that i added a vintage valhalla reverb and lastly I added a Echo Boy, the Dark Echo Can preset right here. And the reason I added a pitch shifter is because you can't use those low notes uh, in this bank. As you can see right here, C3 is the darkest one. Uh, but here's what it sounds like with the effects. After I had all that done with the effects, I rendered it out to a WAV file. I pitched it down 400 semitones, uh, linked it to the second mixer channel. I went to Portal, and I went to Proud by HZE Grain Experiments, and I went with this Rising Tensions preset. Uh, I also automated it, which I'm gonna show you in a second how I did it. And the second effect I added was a DAW LP. Turned on all these, uh, turned on the mix a little bit, and maybe messed around with the amp quality. Here's the automation for Portal, and here's what it sounds like. And the reason I pitched it down 400 is because I uh, is because I also duplicated the melody. I time stretched it to make it twice as fast. As you can see here, these are like twice as fast as these wave files. But I pitched up this one 800 semitones, so. It's one octave. This one is one octave above this one. And after I time stretched it, I chopped up each chord like this and just laid it with the chords on top. So this is basically the first uh, final melody. So if we just listen to these. They just go so well together. After I had all of this in the play, uh, after I had all of this, I just rendered it out to a new WAV file just to keep stuff organized in the FLP. Uh, I just and I also actually pitched down two semitones again. But here's what it sounds like. So this is all of this, but pitched down two semitones. <laughs> So 
it is actually like 90% of the melody and also 90% of the effort because I spent so much time flipping this in in so many directions uh, but yeah on to the next sound I'm just gonna delete all this so after I had this uh, bass or well not bass but after I had this like first melody or first layer I grabbed the pattern and I went to analog lab and I went with this fallen upright ambient sfx preset by loner and it is from his and kill september's latest bank technicolor uh, super fire bank recommend that you go and cop so yeah go cop this shit if you want some fire sound here's what the preset sounds like or actually uh, by mistake i routed it to the port and lp uh, uh channel so without the effects it sounded like this and with the effects it sounds like this and it just sounded better, so I just kept it in here. Uh, didn't do anything else to it, I just exported it to a new WAV file. I just exported it to a new WAV file and kept it underneath the original melody. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that pattern. It's just kind of, it, it works kind of like a melodic texture kind of. After I had these two sounds, I dropped the pattern down here again. And I went to Analog Lab again. I went to my own preset this time, uh, the Sorry Flute in my Indigo Bank. If you want to cop that, go ahead and cop that as well. But yeah, here's what this preset sounds like. The, the the pattern I made with the flute is this one right here. So I made this pattern with the flute, and here's what it sounds like. It sounds kind of weird without the other elements. Uh, after I had this, I just uh, I, I added an EQ, took out the highs, took out the mids, kept these frequencies, took out these frequencies, and here's what the flute sounds like with the rest of the melodies. <laughs> So it doesn't hit at the drop because you know this preset is like layered with two chords one up an octave one down but this area is kind of full and this is just kind of like fading of it with some portal effects so the food is coming in a little later and keep going throughout right here you know but yeah, i'm just gonna play it <laughs> repetitive loop pattern but it works so yeah that's what i went with and for the last element right here in the first section of the loop i went to this pack right here dude play lovecraft and i went with this perk loop right here and i dragged it in and all i did to it was uh pitched it up to semi no three semitones i'm um, stretched it to fit the bpm and i also added a little eq taking out the lows uh, but here's what it sounds like. So this is the first section of the loop. For the second, uh, for the B part, I just duplicated everything and took out the flute. Here's what that section sounds like. And for the last part, I duplicated these again, but I made the main melody unique because I couldn't come up with more counter melodies. I just made this one unique. Uh, so after I made it unique, I pitched up a whole octave. So it's minus two right now. I pitched up 10 semitones uh, on this. And after that, I reversed it. And now we have the, so if you remember the chord progression was one, 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 and the five semitones up. And now this one is five semitones up and these are one. Uh, one one one. After I had this, uh, I took this one and chopped it up right here, here, and here. So now it goes from the fifth, or like the five semitone, down to the first semitone, up again to the five. So the chord progression kind of gets reversed. And the last element I added to the loop was a contact. So since this was pitched up a whole octave, it was kind of empty in the mid or the low. The frequencies of the sample and in this area so i opened up another contact i went to contact and i went with the uh, 40s very own keys bank and i went with the 40 soft keys uh, anyway so i made this chord progression from g sharp to d sharp which would be like the original melody was d sharp d sharp d sharp g sharp 
and then I chopped it up and moved the chords around in reverse. So I made it to G sharp, D sharp. So basically that's all I did here, no melody, anything, just some chords to fill up the frequencies. And here's what it sounds like. And the effects was a delay tape by Arteria. I went with this preset right here and a little EQ. I don't know. Yeah, take a uh, and a little EQ. Uh, so here's what it sounds like with the rest of the patterns. <laughs> So after I had this, I just added the stems at the end uh, and exported it to uh, one loop. And then I added this one to the master or to the mixer track 20. And I added a wave shell, wave shell. And I added pitch shifter again and pitched down the final sample to semitones. And yeah, here's the final sample. <laughs> So yeah man, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the sample breakdown and hope you learned something new. And I'ma catch y'all in the next video.